Have you ever wondered about the minute celestial bodies that share our solar system but don't get as much attention as the nine planets we all know and love? Well, we're about to delve into the world of dwarf planets, the small yet mighty members of our cosmic neighborhood. These intriguing bodies are similar to regular planets but with a few key differences. Unlike the familiar planets that orbit the Sun, dwarf planets haven't cleared their orbit of other debris. This means they share their space highway with asteroids, comets, and other cosmic hitchhikers. They are also not quite as large as the planets we're used to, but don't let their smaller size fool you. These celestial bodies are packed with mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Currently, there are five recognized dwarf planets in our solar system, each with its own unique set of characteristics and quirks. So today, we are exploring these fascinating, lesser-known members of our solar system. Our journey begins with the most famous dwarf planet, Pluto. First discovered in the year 1930 by a young astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh, Pluto held the title of the ninth planet in our solar system for over 70 years. However, in 2006 the International Astronomical Union redefined what it means to be a planet. And, to the disappointment of many, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. Now don't let its diminutive classification fool you, Pluto is a fascinating world of ice and rock, spanning approximately 1,475 miles in diameter, which is about two-thirds the size of Earth's moon. Its surface is composed mainly of nitrogen ice, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, giving it a distinct reddish-brown hue. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto is its moon, Charon. Discovered in 1978, Charon is so large in relation to Pluto that some consider the pair a binary system. They're locked in a gravitational dance with each body always showing the same face to the other. Pluto's orbit is another interesting feature. Unlike the nearly circular orbits of the planets, Pluto's path around the Sun is highly elliptical, sometimes bringing it closer to the Sun than Neptune. This tiny world takes 248 Earth years to complete one orbit. Finally, let's not forget Pluto's position in the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune that is home to countless icy bodies. Pluto is one of the largest known members of this belt, serving as a sort of ambassador for these distant, icy worlds. So, while it may no longer be classified as a full-fledged planet, Pluto continues to capture our imaginations and fuel scientific curiosity. Its unique characteristics and distant location offer invaluable insights into the early solar system. Pluto, though small, holds a big place in our understanding of the outer solar system. Next, we venture to Eris, the dwarf planet that changed everything. In 2005 a team of astronomers led by Mike Brown discovered a celestial body beyond Neptune. It was later named Eris after the Greek goddess of strife and discord. The discovery of Eris was a pivotal moment in our understanding of the solar system. Why, you ask? Well, it all came down to size. You see, Eris is slightly larger than Pluto, which had long held the title as the ninth planet in our solar system. This posed a conundrum for astronomers. If Eris was larger than Pluto and shared similar characteristics, shouldn't it also be classified as a planet? This debate led to the redefinition of what constitutes a planet by the International Astronomical Union in 2006, and as a result Pluto was controversially demoted to dwarf planet status. But Eris isn't just known for sparking a cosmic controversy, this dwarf planet has some intriguing features of its own. Eris has one solitary moon, Dysnomia, named after the Greek goddess of lawlessness, and the daughter of Eris in mythology. Dysnomia orbits Eris once every 16 days, providing a celestial dance that's mesmerizing to imagine. Eris also boasts a highly elliptical orbit taking a staggering 556 Earth years to complete one journey around the Sun. This means that a year on Eris is equivalent to over half a millennium here on Earth. That's a lot of birthday candles. Despite residing in the farthest reaches of our solar system, Eris has had a significant impact on our understanding of planetary classification and the complex beauty of the cosmos. It serves as a reminder that even the seemingly insignificant can have profound effects, prompting us to reconsider our preconceptions and open our minds to new possibilities. Eris may be far away, but its impact on our understanding of the solar system is profound. Now let's travel to the other three recognized dwarf planets, Haumea, Makemake, and Ceres. Embarking on our journey our first stop is Haumea, a unique dwarf planet that resides in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune. Haumea is quite the oddball as it spins incredibly fast completing a full rotation in less than four hours. This rapid rotation gives Haumea its unique elongated shape, more akin to a rugby ball than a sphere. 
Haumea is about one-third the size of Earth's moon and is primarily composed of rock with a thin layer of ice on the surface. It has two moons, Hayaka and Namaka, named after the daughters of the Hawaiian goddess Haumea. The dwarf planet itself is named after this goddess, linking our understanding of space with the rich tapestry of human mythology. Next on our list is Makemake, another inhabitant of the Kuiper Belt. Named after the creation deity of the Rapa Nui people of Easter Island Makemake is slightly smaller than Pluto. It's primarily composed of frozen methane, ethane, and nitrogen, giving it a reddish-brown hue. Unlike Haumea, Makemake has just one moon, S2015-136472, one or MK2, as it's more commonly known. Makemake's orbit around the sun is quite elongated and tilted. This means it moves in a more oval-shaped path rather than a perfect circle. It takes Make Make a staggering 243 Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun. That's quite a long year, wouldn't you say? Last but certainly not least, we venture to Ceres, the smallest of the recognized dwarf planets, and the only one located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Ceres is only about 900 kilometers in diameter, but it's a fascinating world nonetheless. It's composed of a mixture of rock and water ice, and is believed to have a mantle of water ice that could be over 100 kilometers thick. Despite its small size, Ceres has been the subject of much interest due to its potential for holding life. In fact, NASA's Dawn spacecraft visited Ceres and sent back detailed images and data that have intrigued scientists. The presence of organic molecules on its surface and the possibility of liquid water beneath its crust make Ceres a compelling candidate in the search for life beyond Earth. What's unique about Ceres is that it doesn't have any moons. That's right, no celestial bodies are accompanying this lone wanderer on its journey around the sun. But don't let its solitary nature fool you. Ceres is a fascinating world that holds many secrets yet to be discovered. These three dwarf planets may be less famous, but they are equally fascinating. As we continue to explore the far reaches of our solar system, who knows what other amazing discoveries await us. So, keep looking up, keep wondering, and keep exploring. Our journey through the cosmos is just beginning. In our journey today, we've explored the dwarf planets of our solar system. These celestial bodies, while smaller than their planetary counterparts, hold an immense significance in our understanding of the cosmos. First, we delved into the story of the most famous dwarf planet, Pluto. Once crowned the ninth planet of our solar system it was later reclassified as a dwarf planet, shedding light on the fluidity and complexity of astronomical classifications. And while its demotion may have been a source of controversy, its importance remains undiminished. Pluto's icy surface, its five moons, and its elliptical orbit continue to provide invaluable insights into the nature and formation of our solar system. Next, we ventured to Eris, the dwarf planet that shifted our understanding of what it means to be a planet. Larger than Pluto yet still considered a dwarf planet, Eris challenged our conventional categorizations and prompted the redefinition of what constitutes a planet, cementing the importance of dwarf planets in our cosmic discourse. Then, we journeyed through the lesser-known dwarf planets, Haumea, Makemake, and Ceres. Each of these celestial bodies with their unique characteristics adds to the diversity of our solar system. Haumea's elongated shape, Makemake's remote location in the Kuiper Belt, and Ceres's distinction of being both the smallest dwarf planet and the largest object in the asteroid belt, all contribute to our growing knowledge about the solar system. These dwarf planets, though they may be small in size, play a crucial role in our understanding of the cosmos. They tell us about the formation of our solar system, the nature of celestial bodies and the intricacies of planetary classification. Their stories serve as a reminder that in the grand theater of space, every actor, big or small, has a significant role. Remember, every celestial body, no matter how small, has a part to play in the grand scheme of our solar system.